Last week, many thought that this ballot measure was dead and gone when the Board of Elections rejected it. But Renew Baltimore has vowed to keep fighting. Pushing to get this proposed charter amendment back on your November ballot, attorneys for Renew Baltimore, the grassroots group trying to lower property taxes, filing this complaint in circuit court, claiming their petition, which would gradually cut rates from 2.2% to 1.2% over the next seven years, satisfies all legal requirements and should be voted on by city residents. 23,000 of whom already signed the proposal, despite only needing 10,000 signatures to make it on the ballot. The complaint coming just days after Board of Elections Director Armstead Jones deeming the petition unconstitutional. In a letter to Renew Baltimore, Jones claiming only elected leaders can set the city's tax rates. In response, Renew Baltimore citing five other Maryland jurisdictions with legal limits on their property taxes, hoping a judge will side with them. I think the economic benefit will be massive. Economist Dr. Anaban Basu left Renew Baltimore to study the issue in depth. Well, Baltimore City is a city that continues to lose population and it continues to lose taxpayers in the process. Basu pointing to neighboring jurisdictions like Baltimore County, where the rates are half of what people are paying in the city, arguing for the population to grow, the cost of living needs to decline. I've done some modeling on this, and over the course of seven fiscal years of implementation, I conclude that each and every fiscal year, Baltimore City will collect more in property tax revenues than they do now. Now, a judge is expected to rule on this filing within the next two weeks or so. From there, both sides have one more opportunity to appeal the decision to the Supreme Court of Maryland. In studio, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.